Break up a strong woman coming back tonight. Chilling in my room. You know what? I kind of like my phone better than sitting at that desk. It seems like I'm more personable with you guys when I'm on my phone. And this phone got me monetized. Sometimes if something not broke, you don't have to fix it. So I'm going to start doing more videos on my phone. I know y'all like me on the computer. It look professional. That's what everybody want. But I like my phone. I'm sitting here, y'all, doing some work because I'm a night owl. I do a lot of work at night. And I know a lot of you are sleeping right now. You will see this in the morning. I'm going to come back with Morning Talk with Nina on my phone. And I happened to run across Kevin Hart making statements about his wife going on tour, Cat Williams. Now, Kevin has said, oh, it's cool. No, it don't bother me. And then Tori came out, oh, it's cool. We, me and him got an understanding. Now, all of a sudden, the truth then came out. Yeah, the truth then came out. Kevin is bothered by Tori going on tour with Kat. And I knew he would be. That's the great payback. Cat Williams know what he doing. He's up here. P-I-M-P. He know exactly what he's doing. So, he contacted, I don't know who contacted who, but he didn't took Tori under his wing because Tori was the one writing Kevin Hart jokes a lot of times. That's why her joke, his jokes was about their family. Okay. He had the audacity, y'all. This little troll doll that go eye to eye with me. I'm five foot four. I think Kevin five five. Go eye to eye with me. I will punch Kevin in the, in the nose to make an idle threat to his ex-wife. Ex. That means they're no longer together. If she go on tour with Cat Williams, she going to regret it. That they have a, a, a relationship co-parenting that don't need to be broken. So he pretty much saying, I'm going to destroy you because I have money. So you can't move until I tell you to move. So she letting everybody know that Kevin Hart is threatening her. Now, I normally don't like when women run to the social media about what a black man did. Or, but, but you know what? I'm fair is fair. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. Kevin, if you made a threat to that woman, lock his ass up. I don't care how much money he has. Lock his stupid ass up. She should have recorded him. Because sometimes people think because they have money, like Steve Harvey, they exempt to show respect to the people they didn't have babies with. See, it couldn't have been me. It couldn't have been me. Because as soon as he called me and said, try me, I'm like, oh, really? I'm going to show you today. You are his favorite thing. You will learn today. And, and that's what Kevin said. You will learn today. She had this brother by the nutsack. She could have destroyed Kevin Hart. She could have sued the shit out of him, got everything because he cheated on her. He met this girl in junior college when he was just a midget. He ain't grown since with nothing. And she dealt with his ass. And then she told him, the only way I'm going to keep dealing with you if you marry me. So they ended up getting married. They had babies. They was happy. And then Hollywood got a hold of Kevin. The Illuminati, allegedly. P. Diddy. He started getting above himself. See, when you take certain people out in certain environments, they forget where they came from. He forgot he met her in junior college and didn't have shit. She was with his brother when he didn't have nothing. Same thing Jordan did to Juanita. Didn't have nothing. I don't think LeBron would do that to, um, is her name Savannah? I think Savannah would cut his ass. She, she, she ain't playing with LeBron. Because she been with him since high school. So, he telling her to respect him when he's the one that was running all over town with Aniko. Rubbing it in her face. 
She had to deal with this brother cheating on her. Then he made the side chick the main chick. And she just became a baby mama. And he have the nerve to tell her, you better respect me. And if you say one joke about us, I'm going to destroy you. After she tolerated him cheating on her, running all over town, people laughing at her. His side bitch, I'm going to be real, became his main bitch. Not only that, you divorced your main woman and married the side piece. Then that ain't enough. No, that wasn't enough daggers. That wasn't enough. He told his children they better respect a Nico like a stepmama, even though they know that heifer cheated on their mama. If y'all disrespect your stepmama, it's going to be consequences and repercussions. So he made them kids endure this tramp that broke up their home because all they knew was mama and daddy. Now they over at daddy house with this tramp and got to treat her like a stepmama. Then he started having babies with her. Now they got to be all nice to their stepbrothers and sisters and mommy over there distraught and, and just destroyed. And we have to deal with it because daddy is the breadwinner. Ain't no way. Ain't no, ain't no damn way that you gonna make my kids come to your house and respect the side piece that you cheated on me with. No, no. Now, if they want to come, they can go. But Kevin made them and, and gave rules. Then he pretty much told Tori, if you want to keep eating, you go do it my way. We go co-parent. They even took pictures together, y'all. And she dealt with it. Then she got on Hollywood Husbands or whatever it's called. Did a little skits with Kevin because she was the funny one. And Nico can't do nothing but be cute. I guess she used to model or whatever. Then Tori, being the woman that she is, she was nice to Nico. They became cool. She even made a comment the other day. I think she's pregnant again saying that if they need a babysitter or whatever, she might babysit once the baby potty trains. So, and Nico and Kevin, like her, her, her people now, they like her BFFs. And then he going to take his tongue and tell her what she cannot do. Not only that, he done cheated on a Nico now with another woman. And Nico want people to have sympathy for her. Because now she is about to be the main bitch that used to be the side bitch. I heard Kevin just willy-nilly slanging penis everywhere. They say he got a third leg. He just slanging penis everywhere. But they all saying Cat Williams lied. They all said it didn't affect them. But oh, yes it did. Cat stuck some daggers in them that they're losing their damn mind. But I want y'all to hear. I ain't gonna show it because I've been getting flag showing videos. And I'm not doing all that no more because it's messing up my page when you show these videos and you don't know who go flag you, who go tear. I ain't got time for all them games. So either I'm going to show pictures from now on or I'm going to just let you hear voices because I'm not getting in trouble with YouTube for this. But I want y'all to hear a Nico. When this first happened to her, she had an interview. Not a Nico, Tori. When this first happened to her, she had an interview. And they was asking her about Kevin Hart cheating. And I want y'all to hear how distraught she sound. I'm just going to let y'all hear it, though. So just listen closely. Hold on. You guys can get the feel of what I'm about to say. He really dogged her out. And he's just exactly the person Cat Williams described. You guys take a look at this old clip about Tori, explaining what happened to her. We're wrong in a I feel like infidelity, definitely infidelity. Is he with the person that he cheated on you with? He is. How does that make you feel when you see him taking the woman that he cheated on you with to the, all of these red carpets? I never lashed out. I never tried to punch her in the face even though I've had moments where trust and believe I wanted to KO her ass. I am I'm tearing up now because, you know, 
it does hurt that my kids have to be around a woman who broke up a marriage. When you have your kids saying, Mommy, you know, what happened? I was with him when he was selling sneakers, $5 an hour. I was at every show. I was at his first show where he ever did stand up. I pushed him. I would be there. I would help him reenact. I was his muse. I, I mean, I was there from the beginning. Looking to launch your online store? Sprocket helps you build your dropshipping store in just five minutes with AI. Okay. I just want to show y'all a little clip because I'm not supposed to show videos. She's beautiful. Beautiful brown girl. That wasn't, a, that wasn't good enough for Kevin. See, when you get money sometimes, you get more options. That's why when these girls run around here talking about, I want a man with money. Can you handle a man with money? Can you handle what comes with a man with money? More money, more bitches. I know y'all don't want to hear it that way, but I, it's just, it's true. It, it's just the facts. You know, when a man got money, he got more opportunities. He got more women coming to him. He got uh, women getting butt naked everywhere he go. Don't care how cute he is. Don't care how short he is. They throwing it at him. You have to be a strong man to say no. I heard Denzel even cheated. I didn't even know that. But see, they have these wives that's so poised and beautiful black women that they don't put their business on the internet. Like if LeBron doing something, Savannah will never tell it. Think of Snoop Dogg wife. He then did the most. Have y'all ever seen her on the internet crying? Have y'all ever seen her complain about anything Snoop ever done? Have y'all seen her in any interviews? LL Cool J been with Simone since high school. He met her in church. Have y'all ever seen Simone in the line like talking about anything LL ever done? These are men. You know they didn't did some shit. Jordan cheated on Juanita. Have you ever seen Juanita do an interview? Juanita ain't got to do no interview. She got $100 million from Jordan, from, from my understanding. She's somewhere riding on Sunset Boulevard in a drop top with a little young kink to oil. With it. his money and ain't bounce the basketball. That's how you get them, Juanita. That's how you get them. Any other time, I wouldn't, you know, uphold that. But he cheated on her. He dogged out. And then he married a white woman. She should have got all the nigga money. She should have put him on the welfare line. I just wanted to share that because I'm sitting here doing work and I hear... Kevin Hart make a threat to his ex-wife. He pretty much told her she cannot go on tour with Cat Williams. Do you, Kevin, do you not know what ex mean? That mean I ain't with your ass no more. That's what she should have told me. That mean I'm not with your ass no more. And yes, I'm going to do some jokes and crack on your ass so bad, you going to hate your left. But see, this is what I tell you, ladies. Stop giving me that authority over you where you you don't have your own shit. Tori, by now, you should have all your own shit. All the money Kevin was giving you. All the money that he had to give you to just shut up. Because you didn't... I don't think you even took him to child support court or you, can get, you didn't get alimony. I think y'all had a settlement among each other. You should have been taking that money, starting all kind of businesses and doing your own comedy doing all kind of stuff you want to do for yourself without kevin so he cannot make these kind of threats to you to cut you off because now it seems like you're afraid that kevin gonna cut off some stuff that you need kevin should not have that authority over your life at this point your children are grown kevin shouldn't be able to tell you shit you hear me? Well, my kid's father cheated on me. No, he do not have Kevin Hart money. Thank God he 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 better thank God he didn't, cause I would have broke the bank. But when it first happened, when he first cheated, cause you know what cheating do? It mess with your psyche. You you not thinking? It mess with your mental state of mind. Cause y'all get my likes up. I have people in the house, and it's not matching my likes at all. Y'all been really slacking with that. Y'all say y'all like my videos, but y'all not liking them. And I need you to like my videos in order to stay relevant on YouTube. The algorithm. It keeps it flowing throughout the algorithm. And my videos keep popping up. I know y'all like seeing my face all over YouTube. I keep telling y'all that's why I put my face as my thumbnail. Because I want everybody to know, it's Nina. Hey, hey, I'm back. 
That's why I do my own face. I don't want to be like everybody else. That's called marketing. But when he cheated on me, get my likes up. Come on, man. Y'all still slacking. There's too many of y'all in the house. I ain't going to keep going till y'all get my likes up now. Come on. And I ain't trying to be rude or forceful. If I sit here and talk and, and, and give y'all this good stuff, y'all can at least say, like, come on, please. Anyway, I digress. When my kids' father cheated on me, I was not at myself. And it was nothing but the grace of God that saved him and me. I wanted vengeance because when you put so much time into somebody, when you give somebody everything you got in you, when you deal with somebody mess, you praying for them more than they pray for themselves. And they betray you. I wanted to tie him up like misery and beat the shit out of him. Now I wanted to do him like um, the diary of a bad black woman. That's why he, he, he laughed at me right now. He said, Nina, I know if I ever got sick, you had to take care of me. You would beat me like that. I said, yeah. Mm -hmm. Got my belt waiting in the closet for your ass. And I'm going to put grease and water on the belt and beat the shit out of you. <laughs> I'm cool with him now. But when somebody hurts you, you just... You're not at yourself. You really want to do something. You hear Tori said she wanted to just sock the shit out. See, she a good one because Aniko would have got the business if it was me. The side woman become the main woman and you making my kids respect this hoe. Oh, no, I'm tearing up everything. I'm, I, ain't, I ain't talking about tearing up stuff. I don't tear people shit. I'm going I'm to destroy you mentally, brother. I'm going to break you down mentally where you can't even function. You ain't going to be able to tell no joke because you're going to be too nervous looking around and she coming. See, that's what I did to my kid's father. I wasn't really doing nothing to him, but I was making him think I was going to do something. So he couldn't even mentally stay functional or even do nothing. He was always nervous. Like, he even called my mother saying he thought I was going to kill him. I wasn't even doing that. Just making him think I was doing something to him. I wanted him to be so uncomfortable that you can't be happy, brother. Then you try to get my kids to spend the night over your side woman house. Not today, not on my clock. Mm -mm. Because she's not trustworthy. She destroyed a whole family. She's not trustworthy. Well, I'm going to trust my kids with her for. It ain't no jealousy. It's like she is a snake. She might do something to one of my kids. I don't trust her. I don't know her. She didn't like me enough to respect my marriage. So why in the hell would I trust my kids with her now you want to see your kids you can see your kids i ain't gonna stop that but she ain't finna be all playing stepmama see now and nico getting what she's she has come and didn't i tell y'all the universe is like a boomerang you, it, it turns what you throw out the universe do this it come it come right back now she has what two kids and pregnant she finna be a baby mama she worse off than tori tori had two she going to have three. Now, Kevin going somewhere else. You lose them how you find them. So anybody out there thinking y'all doing some old slick shit, destroying a marriage, wrong. It's coming back. It is a matter of time. And it may not even be with that person. Let me tell you how the universe play games with your life. Let me tell you how the universe play games with your life. I'll give you an example. I know a family of cousins that over, it's been over 15 years now. They were hanging out, cousins and they, and they mates. And one of the cousins, boyfriend was messing with a white girl. He was sneaking around with her, right? They in a club. The white girl comes in the club drunk and she letting it be known that he was messing with her. Now, all the cousins hanging together. You don't mess with a bunch of black cousins and they drunk. So she got the throwing drinks on the brother, cussing him out, calling him the N-word. He gets up and slap her. Then the baby mama, the, one of the cousins, got up and slapped the shit off the white girl. It became a, a, a brawl in the nightclub. They start fighting. All of a sudden, everybody start fighting. They put everybody out the club. It ended up in the parking lot. Now, for somehow, 
the guy she was messing with ended up running the white girl over. She was hit. Boom. She hit. They didn't stop to call the police and see what they did. They threw her in the trunk. This happened right here in Michigan. They threw her in the trunk. They took her out on the expressway. Nobody, I guess so much was going on, nobody really noticed what was going on. They all panicked. Oh, my God, we hit this white girl. I don't know if she did. Now, they all cousins and boyfriend and girlfriends. You know what they did? They took her body, they threw her in the expressway, and they ran her over. Car after car. Bloop, 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 bloop. And they left her there. It was a cold case for 10 years because she died. It was a cold case for 10 years. What happened to whatever her name was? Little Kimmy. So one day, I'll tell you how the universe works in karma. One of the cousins, the main one that hit her, one of the female cousins was the main one that hit her. She met another guy, right? He was a big time drug dealer. They laying in the bed. They having pillow talk. Now, you know when sex is good, you, you would tell everything. You would tell what your granddaddy did in 1939 when you have a pillow talk. She told this story. And the brother was like, he was from Detroit. He was like, what? So nobody never knew what happened to the girl? No, nope, nobody never knew. It was wearing on her mentally, so she had to share it. Five years later, after she broke up with the drug dealer dude, Guess what happened? He catch a case for selling drugs. He was in an indictment in Detroit. He was facing life. But guess what he had in his back pocket? He had an ace card. I know about a murder that happened not too far from here. A cold case with a white girl who got ran over on express where I got the whole story. But the only way I'm going to give you this story is I walk. Now, you know damn well, either we go going to let this brother walk or we're going to lock him in jail because we want to know who killed this little white girl. Oh, you know she walking. Not only that, once he tell, he about to get seven people at one time. He out right now. He's supposed to be doing life. He tell, he testify. His ex-girlfriend had told him the story. She flipped on her cousins. She gets seven years. Her cousins all got life. They got life with no parole. But I say this to say how karma come back. They all was living a good life. They all had careers. They were married now. Because it's like 10 years later. They were married now. Detectives was coming and feds was kicking doors in, picking people up at their jobs. Ten years later, they didn't even know what their wives and stuff didn't know what was going on. They got babies. They got teenagers. They got whole lives. And karma came back ten years later and took them out their life, making good money, career jobs, and they doing life in prison right now. Karma always returned. They were doing something totally different with their life with different people. Had moved on. Totally forgot about the girl. Even the ones that didn't even get out their car and touch her because they were involved. They all doing life with no parole. All because of pillow talk one night she was feeling good and told on her cousins. Karma don't miss nobody. It always comes back always come back and i said that because it don't necessarily have to come back at that moment or that situation you could be in a whole nother life you could be a grandmother now and just say you did some selling drugs when you was a teenager now you a grandmother happy and you get a phone call that one of your kids on drugs your grandkids your great grandkids and you like what yeah, the same drugs you were selling to somebody else's granddaughter. Now somebody's selling to your granddaughter. See, that's how karma works. Kevin, you never thought in a million years that your arch enemy, Cat Williams, would be on tour with your wife?
your ex-wife, the one you thought you had wrapped around your finger? I think Kevin have other problems because I'm going to be honest, y'all. Kevin is Hollywood bitch. I, I know y'all want to hear that. Uh, I shouldn't be cussing. Bitch is nothing but a female dog. Can y'all get my likes up, man? Come on. Yeah, y'all tripping. Get my likes up. Kevin is Hollywood garden tool. All you gotta do is watch the things he do. Did you see the video when he dancing in a blue dress and he got his hair like a woman and he dancing? Did you see Shaq Ben and Kevin over at a car? It's, it was a prank, a skit. Like he the police and was pumping him like he was a little female. Just pumping him hard. Had him down, had his back down, arched. Pumping him. That ain't funny for two men to do to me. Ain't nothing funny about that. Did you see The Rock? I don't know what movie it was, but it blew me away. Kiss Kevin in the mouth. Then he held Kevin in his arms like Kevin was a little girl. Kevin has done a lot of things to get where he's at. Yet he won't respect from a woman. Negro, when, when Shaq bent you over and, and pumped on you like you was a little bitch, you don't get no respect from no woman no more. Now, your respect went out the window, Kevin. But see, Kevin got his money. That's the only thing that's making him look tall and big is, them, is that money. Kevin, you lose that money, he ain't got shit going on. That's why some people don't deserve money. Like Steve Harvey, you get the money and you start dogging the women that helped you when you couldn't even feed yourself, brother. When you was living in a car, allegedly, you were messing with your first wife and you had Mary. And then between the two of you, them, y'all had four babies. You left them and bragged on your stand-up. When Marjorie walked in your comedy um, show, that's going to be my wife. You brag about this with everybody that you claim Marjorie as your wife, but it's one little part you forgot to say, Steve. You were married when you said that. Who just do that? A married man look at a woman and say, that's going to be my wife, and you already got a wife. You don't think karma going to come back to you, Steve? This is why you're getting the flux right now with Lady Heroin. Mm -hmm. Lady Heroin. You never told the world that Marjorie was a drug dealer. So that means she got a lot of karma coming back to her. God for the whoop some people butts this year. Your money not going to protect you. Steve did a whole fake ass motivational speaking speech after Cat Williams did what he did. All you got to do is cut on the TV. Haters go hate. What him telling the truth got to do with hating? Haters lie on you. They don't tell the truth. And how I know Cat is telling the truth? Because none of you have denied it yet. Not one of you have denied it yet. Everybody went in a circle, but y'all never said Cat Williams lying. And when I see that Negro, it's on and popping. Even Ludacris, you came out with a riddle. Never denied it, though. You just bragged about exactly what he said you're doing. That you got 20 movies to make. On Fast and Furious, you get two hundred million. You bragged about your money. He never said you was broke, brother. He said you was in the room at Diddy House. You didn't put that in the rhyme. He didn't say you was in the Illuminati. He said that Illuminati picked you to do those movies. They chose you. They didn't say you was a part of it. So you gotta listen to the words that man said. See. Oh, man, I just had to talk about it because money make people change. This is why a lot of people don't get blessed. And this is how I know a lot of times the blessings that we see that we, why, why I'm not acting? Why I can't do that? Because a lot of that stuff is not from God. God don't bless no mess. God is not going to put you in the devil's den. What God will do, though. Do y'all remember the book of Job? He told the devil to test Job. He gave him permission. You know why he gave him permission to test Job? Because he said, that one right there, he betrayed me. 
Judas, he betrayed me. But this one right here, he ain't going to do nothing. He, he going to stand ten toes down with me. No matter what you do to him, Satan, he ain't going to waver. I promise you that. You can do anything to Job but kill him. And I promise you, he's never going to turn on me. Judas, yeah. For some silver, he 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 go turn on me. But this one right here, he ain't going nowhere. So what God would do, he would put you in a situation to be tested. And see how faithful you are. He'd give you some money sometimes to see, can you handle it? Will you turn on me? Will you deny me? Would you forget about me after I didn't bless you? Let me see what you would do. Go ahead and test them, Satan. So Satan start giving people what their heart desires. You know, Satan know what your heart desires. For example, have you ever been in a relationship and as soon as you fall in love and get a relationship, he come all your exes calling. You see the most beautiful women, they looking at you, want to give them your phone number. Everybody want to be in love with you now that didn't give you the time of day. That is Satan testing you. And God let them do it. Let me see how weak he is in the flesh. He got this good wife. Now I'm going to throw all these people at him. And a lot of you failed that test. And this is why you end up in the situation you're in. A lot of you are going to die with a lot of money. Steve Harvey might die being a millionaire. But guess what Steve Harvey don't realize what God would do. He'll take your health from you. Your health means more than money, sir. So don't keep on talking about somebody hating on your money. Because I, I would exchange good health any day for some money. And from which, what um, Miss Shirley Strawberry said, you're not healthy, Steve. You can't even walk up a flight of stairs. So that $400 million don't mean shit if you did. This is what people don't understand. Don't get too high and mighty because you feel like, oh, I got this money. Look at Kanye. One week, his money just started dribbling down. He wasn't even a billionaire no more in one week. Just like you received it, it can be taken away from you. Birds always got to come down and drink water. You can't fly high forever. It's time for Kevin to come down and get a sip of water because he didn't did a lot of people wrong, including his little kids. And I say his kids because he made them pretty much turn against their own mother. He made them do that. And I'm just surprised they even deal with him because now they're older. But see, that's why he's, he's, he's trying to stay so tight-knit with his kids and spoil them because he know he did wrong. He know what he did. But Tori, if you need some backup girl, you got some sisters. Mm-hmm. We'll jump his ass. <laughs> we gonna tie his ass up and beat the shit out of Kevin. <laughs> Cause Kevin has lost his everlasting mind to tell you you better not say a joke. Girl, if I was you right now, I'd be in there like Einstein, all my jokes would be about Kevin ass from the, sh from the first time I met him. If he woke up and his breath stank, I'm talking about everything. You testing me, Kevin? Oh, this is my get back. See, he knows this is a get back. He knows she can destroy his whole reputation because she know his darkest secrets. She know more than a Nico know because she know this nigga when he was broke. And Nico only know the rich Kevin. She know the poor Kevin. She can destroy this brother. That's why. And then he know she with the comedy genius. She with Cat Williams. That's like Jordan saying, come and play for the Bulls. I want you a starter on the team with me. That's what it's like being on the road, Cat Williams. Jordan just recruited somebody just off the streets. Hey, you, have, you don't have to go to tryouts. You ain't got to go to college. I'm Jordan. I want you to start with me. You on the Bulls now. That's what that's what he just did for for uh Tori. She played for the Bulls. She with Jordan. She bought the fly, Kevin. <laughs> and he's mad about it. 
if this ain't the great payback I ever see. And I just love the picture they took. I love the picture they took. Cat looks so, like, in your face, nigga. And I, I wish I could reach out to them because I'm like, Cat, please, please do me a favor. And this cold is killing me. Come out. Off a of hit him up by Tupac. I have just orange juice. That water didn't do nothing for me. <coughs> Y'all know that son played when I get off here. Hit him up by Tupac. That's what Tupac said to Biggie Smalls. That's why I got your B. Get money. Get money. <laughs> I had to share that with y'all, man. Kevin Hart has lost his mind. And y'all still ain't got my likes up. Y'all just, y'all foul. Y'all foul as heck. Y'all gonna have me stop making videos. I'm, I'm about to retire and I just started because y'all don't love me. You don't love Death Row? <laughs> I'm tripping, y'all. But I had this, I'm sitting here. And I heard that, and I had a flashback. I was about to get on. It's seven degrees in Michigan right now. Seven. And where my kid's father lived, about an hour away, it's probably five degrees. He close to the Lake Michigan. When I heard that, I had a flashback. I was about to get on my boots in a snowsuit and head on down there and whoop his ass. Because I had a flashback. I said, yeah, bro, I remember what you did. I'm going to take out whatever Kevin Hart did to Tori on your ass. I'm just playing. I'm over him. I'm cool. But this your girl, Nina, from Breakable Strong Woman. Let me see. Can I read some of y'all comments real quick before I get off here? Thank y'all for being up with me. Hanging out with me tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, my glass is dirty. Hey, Lily. She said, hey. Hey, 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 Marcy. Mace, is it Macy? Is that brown? That must be brown sugar. Hello, hello. Miss Africa. I got African house. Are you showing my videos to your friends and sharing? I, I would just love for people over in the motherland to be watching me. That's awesome, man. That, that's crazy. You must show my stuff over there and ask them to subscribe. I Please do it. Hello, Miss Ford. I think I know Shelly Ford. Miss Ford, where are you all from? That's what I want to know. Where are you all coming in from? And how cold is it right now? That's what I want to know. What are y'all doing? Are y'all keeping warm? Do you got to go outside? Do you work from home? Introduce yourself. Let us know which, who you are, where you from, what you do. Charmaine. That reminds me of John. Who is John? Listen in the 60s, killed his whole family. He killed his whole family and left town, was gone 30 years. And they caught him in Richmond. Damn. He had killed five people 30 years earlier, including his mother and wife. What? I'm going to watch that. Is it on YouTube, Charmaine? I'm telling you, people crazy. That shit come back. And he started out. See, that's like the stepfather. That shit's scary. You... That's why I said, y'all better know who y'all are dealing with. Mm-mm. You got to do some background checks. Shit, when he sleep, poke his ass and get some blood. Mm-mm, nigga, who are you? Because he could be the stepfather and then change his whole identity trying to kill the whole damn family. Hell no. Nah. Hey, um, Jay Jones. Hey, Nina, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. People forget when God kicked Satan out of heaven, he didn't... Strip him of his power. Show sure didn't. Man. And Satan is the God of the world. That's why the almighty God said love not the world. Wow. Thank you for saying that, Sherman. Love not the world or the things in it. He is the God of the world, man. Did y'all just hear what she just said? That was, that's so true. He did not strip him of his power. So Satan has power. And he's controlling this, man. It's like, that's why God said you can't serve two gods. 
Are you going to love the world and hate me or hate me and love the world? What you going to do? You got to make up your mind. So for all of you out here that saying, take your hand off God, anoint him when it comes to Pastor T.D. Jakes, you sound ridiculous because you cannot straddle the fence, Pastor Jakes. You cannot be over there at Diddy House and then go preach at the Potter House on Sunday. It ain't no such thing. And all those fake church folks who's upholding that mess is going to the pit of hell because God is watching you. You're going to hell with them. Put on your seatbelt. Enjoy your ride because you headed there. I promise you. God is that almighty God with all power. But give us choices. He said, choose ye this day whom thou will serve. You got you to gotta choose who you're going to serve. And I choose God. I don't care who get mad, who are upset. I'm going to always choose and praise God. I can't stand an atheist, man. And I don't have time to entertain an atheist. Keep your demonic spirits and your thoughts over there. Yeah, I'm working on using profanity. I'm asking God to tame my tongue. I didn't got a whole lot better. But I meant to say bitch today because bitch ain't nothing but a female dog. Y'all y'all make bad words out of stupid stuff. It's a female dog. That's the name of a female dog. So... I meant to say that today. That's because the money belongs to those folks and they all take it back. Jay Jones. You know what? In Hollywood, money is like a loan. They gonna give you all that money. Like Oprah. Oprah has sold her soul to the point she changes the Bible. This lady was born and raised in church. Now you talk to Oprah. She changed God's words to fit her lifestyle. She sound like a damn fool. Because of money. Uh -huh. What's that? Einstein, Weinstein, all them steams. She take off of them. But she exploited uh, Michael Jackson. She talked about Michael like a dog. She exploited uh, Monique. And who, and who, uh, who else? She she's dogs out and then and then we gonna talk about Gail. She tried to dog out Kobe at the death, but you walking around here. Your boss is involved with a hundred women that he supposed to had, art. Y'all haven't mentioned him yet. Because he signed your paycheck, I guess, or help you get money. Now I'm finding all these people that went over to the uh the island. Is it the Weinstein? Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. They they both Steens. Einstein and, and and Weinstein. I don't know them they names, I don't care. But they got an island over there. Even Chris Tucker just said the other day he was at the island. Cause somebody caught him over there. Whoopi Goldberg been on the island. They said the list is so long with that book over there on that island, it's gonna blow our minds. And guess what? We're gonna find out this year. Yeah, we're going to find out this year who's been on that island. Could y'all get my likes up, please? It's 30 people on here watching me ain't saying nothing but looking. I know. Come on, man. That's like me coming into your house and don't speak to you. That's disrespectful. It said, if money could have kept Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart, alive, he would still be here. Wow. But the best of cancer doctors in the world could not change him He's, or his diagnosis. Money don't fix nothing. If God right now came down and said, Nina, I would give you $400 million right now and you have five years left. Or I would give you another 50 with just what you have. I'll take another 50. Money don't mean nothing. Health trumps money. I promise you. Charmaine, I saw her stand up with Kat. And she said her son gets more beatings than her girls. Because he reminds me of what of her ex-husband. Who? I saw her stand up with Kat. She said her son gets more beatings. You know what? She said that um, Kevin was putting his hands on her. I forgot that part. What did Oprah, what was her name? Miss Sophia, what did she tell Silly in color purple? You better be Mr. Ass 
That's what she told. You better beat Mr. Ass. You told Hoppo to beat me. You, she, man, I wish I would let a midget hit me. I would have bopped his ass on top of his head. Man, girl, bye. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. I'm just reading y'all comments. Thank y'all for being here tonight. Seattle, Washington, 28 degrees. Well, we seven here in Michigan, Miss Seattle. Cincinnati. The same hood as Cat. Oh, you from Cat? You do you know Cat? Cat is the truth. We love him. I hope y'all show him love in Cincinnati. We have Trina and blessings from North Carolina. Is it racist? I heard it's really racist there. Oh, Charmaine said I can Google it. Now, you know I'm about to be nosy. As soon as I get off here, Charmaine, I have never heard. But it's a lot of stories like that on the internet. Yes, um, Ruben, it is, it is late here. It is 1.23 a.m., but I'm a night owl. I'll be up late doing work. It's 10 degrees in Arkansas with wind chill factor of 3. The whole nation is like... It has this cold thing going on because they said Vegas is only 20-something degrees. And it was snowing in Houston. That's crazy. And let me say something to y'all real quick. And I'm not, I'm not trying to scare nobody. Did y'all hear there was aliens in the mall in Miami? They have pictures. It was so many police there. Google that when y'all get off here. It was so many police there. They had more police at that mall than a shooting. And they trying to cover it up and say because it was some kids fighting. But it was people actually in the mall that witnessed seeing these aliens. And they like distraught. They terrified. It was something that was not explained. But if y'all... Don't believe in the Bible. You better believe it now. Because I don't know what scripture it is. Somebody help me out. It talks about giants. And these people was 10 feet tall. It talks about wars and rumors of wars. It talks about brother killing brother. Every time you cut on the YouTube, what do you see? A black man just killed another black man. Your gaudy brother just was murdered by another black man. They seeing giants in the mall. Our country is in danger right now for war, war four. The war, the war about to start. But it's rumors right now. That's what the Bible talk about. People going to destroy each other. These are the signs of the time. The word of God is real, y'all. If y'all don't, all you got to do is pick up that word and... Pick up the book of Revelations, and it will scare you till you throw it down. It will scare you. They even tech, talk about technology and credit cards. And this book was wrote how many years ago? And people running around to my God ain't real. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Okay, Jay is from L.A. and live in Scottsdale, Arizona. I heard it's beautiful in Scottsdale. Okay, Rochelle is, she's in Kalamazoo. It's cold. Yeah, that's people hearts. <laughs> that's cold. <laughs> ah. Prince of the air. Yes, the devil is, Trina. He is the prince of the air. You got to be so careful. You got to stay covered and have the full shield of armor of God on you. Or are you going to fail, man? Because the devil is every day he's tempting you. You know how many yellow young girls out here struggling on Section 8? Baby fathers treating them bad. And here come trench coat. Sometimes it's they landlord. Are you short on your rent, baby? You got to be a strong woman and say, Negro, I will sleep in my car before I sell my body for some $900 rent. Because if I sell my body, you buying houses, you paying for college tuitions, 
You it, it, you no, no, ain't no nine hundred dollars shit going on over here, and you don't have that kind of money, brother. So keep it moving. If it, it takes a strong person to do that when you are back up against the wall, because sometimes God allows Satan to push you up against the wall to see if you gonna stand on His word or you gonna fall into that pit of hell and do what it takes to make it at that moment instead of trusting God. It gets greater later. Trust me, I know this. I wouldn't go to Hollywood right now if they offered me money, paid me a contract. Mm -mm. That's why I don't understand Taraji and all Monique. I don't understand all these people crying about what Hollywood is paying them when God and gave y'all every red sign in the world to run. When He said, This is not for me, why you want to be there? You crying for them to pay you more money to be in a demonic world. And he telling you, this is Sodom and Gomorrah and I'm about to destroy it. I'm calling you out like Lot's wife and his daughters. I'm calling you out. I'm giving you opportunity to come out. But you keep looking back to Raji. To Ra See, let me tell y'all something. I did a video about Taraji with the Sodom and Gomorrah. I said God was calling her out. The only thing is don't look back. You know what Taraji just did when she signed with 50 Cent? She looked back. She stayed. So when Hollywood come tumbling down, she can't complain. She decided to stay in Sodom and Gomorrah for more money. Money, the love of money is the root. The love of money. Of all evil. He offered her more money to stay in that wicked world. When God told her to come out. Because I'm about to destroy it. You can look around. You can see what's going on in Hollywood every day. God is coming back with a vengeance. And he's starting in Hollywood. Atlanta. New York. All these famous people about to come down. Because they in a wicked world. You can't serve two gods. I don't care if you do act. And you go to church on Sundays. I don't care if you do rap. And you go to church on Sundays. You serving two gods. He said, no, I'm a jealous God. I don't share mine. Mm -mm. It ain't happening that way. So you got to choose one or the other. And you chose to stay with 50 Cent. I did a video for her called Sodom and Gomorrah. I told her to come out. Money and fame was more important. It's 49 degrees in Phoenix. Oh, man, the world about to end. Hell no. Nah. What? What is going on? It's a hairdresser since 92. Currently have a group home. You a group home worker. Okay. Been a widow since 2019. I know God is real. Oh, bless your heart. That sound awesome. She got it going on. She got group homes. Was that hard to get started? That's what I want to do. I want to do a video. People sharing some of their knowledge and wisdom to help some other people get out the rut they in. A lot of black people have these secrets. They know how to help others and they won't do it. It's time to help people. At least tell them how to do something. Yep, don't play with God. Whose house? God's house. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Leslie, amen. Trina, amen. It's still a bad word. Trina, bitch is not a bad word. It's a female dog. She said it's a bad word. Where? Show me where. Show me that bitch is a bad word. See, I, I don't like to hear what people got to say. I want to hear what... With the word of God said, show me, give me a scripture. If you can give me a scripture, I will believe you. That you said bitch is a bad word. I, I don't believe you. Because I've never seen it. How can a female dog be a bad word? What's the difference if I say you a female dog and I say you a bitch? I guess it's the way you use it. I don't know. Like ho. Ho is a garden tool. It's not a bad word. But people say, oh, she said ho. That's a garden tool. Humans made stuff bad. <laughs> that is not what it's used for. 
A hoe is a hoe. That's something the world gave a name to. A woman that sell her body, the world gave her that title. But that's really just a garden tool. A jackass is a donkey. It's just the way people... Uh, just show me it's a bad word and I'll believe you. That's all I'm saying, Trina. Turn some of your videos... Turn some of videos into clips for your short. You said turn some of my videos into clips for shorts. I did do that. I'm going to start doing more of them. I got to get back into that. I guess if I do the shorts, they get more out there, right? People will start seeing them. And, and Yeah, I got to start doing that more. Because I started doing it and I stopped. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start doing that probably tomorrow. Sandra, hi Nina. I'm new. Been following you a few weeks. Love you. Keep the good work up. Love your old girl. Your vibe. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Charmaine and Russell Simmons. Oh, yeah. Russell. That's a whole nother story. Russell, that's why he left the country. Because he didn't do did so much. He had to take off. Russell like men and women, allegedly. But I know somebody that had proof Russell like men. Yeah. Trap short. She puts down all the black men. 50 cent. Who put down all black men? I know you ain't talking about me because I'm the main one taking off of black men. You on the wrong channel. Wrong channel. If you said I put down black men, I'm the one to fight for my brothers. Can I get a witness? How many times y'all done see me make videos telling women to stop acting the way they act? So you can't be saying I put down a brother. I'm trying to make all of us better as a people. Old school vibe. Love it, Sandra. Thank you, Miss Sandra. That's, you know, that's why I got on my Epstein. That's his dang on name, Epstein. Epstein and Weinstein, ain't that crazy? They both some steams. Epstein is the one. Now, Epstein is the one that was involved with the 100 women, and Weinstein got the island, right? What the hell on this island? That's what I want to know. What's on this island? I bet half the women that's been missing in the United States is over there on that damn island. They better go see what's on that damn island. I bet Donald Trump over there on the thumb party and this shit. Charmaine, the list is long. One YouTuber posted it. For real? Charmaine got all the damn Jews. I got to get up with Charmaine. She know all this shit. Trap shorts. I like your video. Thank you, Alicia. Hey, Nina. She said hi to the chat. Money come and go, but health don't. You show is right about that. We going to, like I said, I'm trying. I got so much going on, man. I'm overwhelmed. I'm trying to get my planners out there. I'm trying to get my calendars, my coffee cups. And then I want to get my membership like I wanted. Because in my membership, we go share health tips, cooking tips. We go pray together. We go have a book club. We go have some fun in my memberships. The rabbit hole of Hollywood is dark. Very dark. Can y'all get my likes up? Y'all tripping. Dang. People sell their souls for money. Detroit is freezing. I bet it is. The whole world is freezing right now. They said hell gonna freeze over. <laughs> he older than me. Okay. Sorry, but San Diego was 50 degrees. That's still kind of cold for San Diego. San Antonio. It's unbelievable. It's cold there. What is going on, man? The ozone is tripping. It's Satan world, but God is in control. No, this is all oh, this is God's. He just letting Satan test people like he did with Job. God can take it all down right now, but he's sitting back watching. You got to be real careful how you move, man, because God is watching everything you do. Alicia, I heard about the aliens. 
People think I'm lying. Y'all get off here and go Google the aliens in the mall in Miami. They hiding it from us. They said they were taking people's phones at the, as they left the mall to make sure nobody had recordings and pictures. That's scary, man. I heard they tried to lie and it was kids fighting. Yeah, they lied because it was people in the mall that was running. And they witnessed it with their own eyes. And the way they tell the story, you can tell they terrified. It's like, oh, my God, I've never seen nothing like that in my life. They were giants. But the Bible, see, I get chills when I say, ooh, the Bible speak of giants. That is, mm-mm. Anika. Oh, that's her name. I said Aniko. Her name is Aniko. Aniko? I don't know. Her name is Aniko. The, the new hoe. That's her name. I'm like Medea. The new hoe. <laughs> ah. The book of Revelations. Yes, yes. This is it's crazy. They go mess around to find out God is real. You know when people tell me how you know God is real, because I know what he's done for me. But I always say this to them. I'd rather die believing and get up there and he's not real, which I know he is, than die not believing and get up there and he's real. I'd rather die believing. So you die not believing, and when you get to see God on judgment day, he'll be like, you didn't believe in me, son. You didn't believe in me. So you know where you're going, right? Oh, he's real. I know he's real. The devil was in the was in the New York City, killed a father of four who was breaking up a fight. There's so much going on. And every day someone is killing their kids and themselves. So sad. Yes, Charmaine, it is. Mm, resist the devil, he shall flee. Yes, Trina. This stuff is real. Maybe Taraji's at her turning point. I don't know. She should have left when she had the chance. She got enough money. Taraji got four mansions. It's like four mansions, a couple of condos. She got like eight cars. The girl is living lavish. Uh, you know what? Okay, Taraji, you ain't making what you should make. You struggling. Downsize. You only can sleep in one house at a time. Tupac said it best. He said it's selfish for somebody to have that many homes when there's people on the streets homeless. Tupac said that. So guess what, Taraji? It's time to sell those houses. Act like a normal human being. You don't need all them homes. If you're visiting L.A., you can get a hotel like a normal poor, a person. You can get an Airbnb. You can even lease a condo for a week. Be normal. You don't need four homes. But she want us to feel bad and help her get more money to maintain four homes when there's people right down the street from me in a park. I just don't get that, man. It's people in a shelter that don't have no homes. And you want us to help you maintain four? You want people to fight for you to get millions of dollars when there's people out here working for $15 an hour. It ain't nobody fighting for them. Come on, man. I don't know what kind of world we live in. It said most... And Charmaine said, and most, if not all, of those stars come from church backgrounds. Yes, and they get to Hollywood and forget all about God. They get there and forget all about it. It's 19 degrees in San Antonio. Dang, this is nuts. This sun belt is cold tonight. What is sun belt? But calling somebody a, is a dog. Calling somebody a dog isn't cool. What's wrong with calling somebody a dog? <laughs> if they acted like a dog, call them a dog. If, it, if that's a duck, call that person a duck. See, that's what's wrong with people. Y'all use the word game. You treat people accordingly. Sometimes people need to be called a female dog. Because that's what they acted like. 
Yes, I'm in the D in this code. And, and I want to say this to people that saved. I know it's a lot of older people on here, and I don't like being disrespectful. But I love giving reality checks. I love to make people come back down. Come on, bring it on back down, Sister Sarah. Stop acting so holier than thou that you think you have the right to judge the next person and tell them how to behave like you Jesus cousins. I told you, ain't none of us Jesus cousins. We wasn't there when he said, let there be light. You didn't turn it on. Stop, stop acting like you holy and perfect because I use profanity and God is working on me with that. At least I can own that I use profanity sometimes. I know what my problem is, but guess what? I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't gamble. Yes, I do. I play lottery. So we got things we need to work on. See how I can own my, my mess? But see, people like the ones that you shouldn't cuss, they don't tell you they at the casino all the time. They don't tell you that trench coat coming in the back door on Sunday night after they just got a church. They fornicating. They don't tell you they watching pornos when ain't nobody at the house. You know, it's a whole lot of things people do. You don't tell people you got a little bit more grandma in that coffee cup than coffee. But you can tell everybody else you shouldn't do that. It's somebody doing something that God don't like. Otherwise, if, if you're not, you're perfect. And it's no such perfect person. So stop getting so religious that a curse word hurts your ears. Oh, that, that's blasphemy. It hurt my ears. Yeah, you drinking alcohol it hurts my heart. Yeah. You sitting there with sex toys in your closet. When God said, don't masturbate, and you do it. But because nobody watching, you don't think nobody know. See, I, I'm just like... I'm not, I love the Lord, but I got to think about my salvation, where I'm going. I can't even get my kids to heaven. How the heck I'm going to get somebody on YouTube to heaven? My mother and father is gone. They can't come back and get me. All they did is they job, brought me here and raised me. It's up to me now to get me there. But it's a lot of saved folks that try to tell other people how they got to live to get to heaven. You don't even know how to get to heaven because you've never been to heaven. How you going to tell me to get somewhere you don't even know if it's a real heaven or not? You've never been there. So people just need to watch their words and just like, you know what? I'm going to pray. That God heals you from whatever you're going through. That's how you, that's how you talk to people. I'm going to pray that God give you and heal you from whatever you're going through to make you a better person. Because I like you. I want to see you do better. But I'm not going to tell somebody where they're going because I don't know. Now, when I tell people they're going to heal, I just be talking crazy. Because I don't know where they're going. And they say in the Bible, the ones you think going to get there, you will not see them there. That's those holier-than-thou people, but they undercover freaks. They had to freak off that Diddy house. And this is what keep people from going to church because church folks always want to put on this persona that you got to be perfect. Let me see what my phone on. It's about to die. That you have to be perfect. So people stay away from church. Do you know the church is nothing but a hospital? It's a bunch of sick folks. Nobody in church is perfect. You go there to get healed. But y'all make people in the world think you got to come to church when you all put together. No, God said come as you are. Let's clear that up real quick. When God said come as you are, that don't mean wear the tightest clothes in your closet and you know you got modest clothes in your closet. Now, if that's all you have, that's fine. When God said come as you are, that means exactly how you are on the inside. If you a prostitute, if you a drug addict, if you a thief, if you are a rapist, whatever you are, come right where you are and I can work on you. He ain't saying nothing about clothes. But see, church folks change that around. You guys, they come as you are. I can wear what I want to wear. No, no, no. He talking about your spirit, your inner being. You don't have to go get healed at the, from crack before you walk into my house. First of all, you are the church. People don't know that. You the church. All you got to do is pick up the word and start reading it. And, and I hear a lot of people now say, no, 
stop telling people don't go to church. I don't tell people go to, don't go to church. I don't go anymore. You know why? Because every church I didn't went to was full of crap, and I can read right through it because God have opened my eyes to the truth. I'm not going to sit there and worship, listening to a liar, hear a bunch of heathens. I don't want them bad spirits jumping off on me. I don't need them kind of people to worship with me. I still worship with people. I still pray with people. I can have Bible study with folks, but it don't have to be in that demonic place they call church because they are turning God's church into something that it shouldn't be. And I ain't saying everybody. But look on TV. Pastors got private planes. Jesus didn't even have a private plane. You think I want to go up in that church? And he pimping the congregation. They got ATMs in the lobby. Who want to walk up and in the church got an ATM in the lobby? Or they got Sister Sarah, little cousin, got the swipe thing for your credit card. You can go over there and swipe your credit card. But that's church. Nah. And they're the same ones that tell you, it's blasphemy, don't cuss. And you swiping your credit card in that church and go every Sunday and think you finna be saved. Wow, shame on you. Pick up the word, show yourself approval, read it for yourself. Because that pastor is leading y'all down the river to hell. That's what he's doing. And y'all would y'all would fight tooth and nails for pastor. And you know he wrong. People is mad as heck about T.D. Jakes knowing he wrong. And call that man anointed. Don't touch God anointed. Because he know the word he's anointed. He just let. Tyler Perry, who had been involved in several allegations for touching men and boys. For touching men and boys. Put his hands on him and prayed on him in the pulpit. The pulpit. A holy sanctuary that he called holy. Because he said he's not going to address a lie about Diddy in God's place. But you let Tyler Perry come lay his hands on you. And several men have said Tyler Perry offered them money for sex. He had fired people because they wanted a union. He had fired people because he didn't want to pay them for writing his plays. This demonic evil spirit with money prayed over you who... Is a man that wear a dress. And you caught the Holy Ghost. You'll tell me God went through your body when Tyler Perry laid hands on you. Or was it that million dollar check he wrote to your church? Oh Lord, I got a million dollars all in five minutes. Was it the check? Because I don't think it was God, sir. But this your girl, let me go. I ain't, I ain't get on here to preach. I got on here to talk about Kevin Hart. I'm talking about... Do everything else, but y'all know how I do. I'm just kicking it. I can't sleep. I'm up. Wanted to holler at y'all. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight. Even though y'all did me wrong with the likes. It's the white thumb, if y'all know what it is. Push the button. Remember on Chris Tucker movie, Rush Hour, the little girl. Push the button. That's all you gotta do is push the button. That bell is a black bell. And it say notifications. But you have to push all. That's why a lot of people miss my lives. You must push all notifications so they can let you know when Nina ran in her mouth. And every Friday night at 8 o'clock, I had said 9, I changed it to 8. Every Friday, hopefully, I'll let you know if I can't do it. But every Friday at 8 o'clock, I'm doing Zoom live call-ins. We just kicking it. I want y'all to have on y'all pajamas. Coffee, wine, or tea table talk. That's what it's called. Coffee, wine, or tea table talk. Because everybody don't drink coffee. Everybody don't drink wine. Everybody don't drink tea. And if you want to bring some water, bring your water. But just have your drink there. And we go kick it for some hours. And we go have on our pajamas. And we just go talk about stuff going on in life. And I'm giving you the opportunity to call in and have conversations. And it's going to be fun. Okay. Let me see what's... um. Rachel said, is that Rachel? Bitch is not a bad word, but it's an ugly word. But it's an ugly word to who, Rachel? The world. But I keep telling y'all the world made things bad. 
God made stuff good and the world made it bad. People made things bad. The lies we are told on earth and we follow into the lies. Like one lie we learned in school that everybody learned and nobody said nothing that Christopher Columbus found America. It's just so many things that's lies and bad things that came from human beings. It didn't come from God. How can a female dog be something bad? Everybody love dogs. Don't they? Look, cute little puppy is a female dog. How can that little puppy be bad? Because humans made it bad. But this your girl. Let me go, y'all. I'm finna go look up this thing. Um... Charmaine told me about what was his name again? Charmaine. I'm talking about Oprah. They had a whole conversation going on about Oprah. I missed out what they was talking about. What y'all talking about with Oprah? Location, you so right. Jewish names. I'm about to be 52. Oh, you a Gemini? Leslie Russell, you a Gemini? I definitely feel in your channel. Don't let shit slide. Nope. I'm giving it. I'm giving you the business in the raw. Because I am Tupac twin. June 16th, baby. Me and Tupac the same. Y'all know how Tupac was. He was raw with it. I'm his twin. <laughs> he my Gemini twin. Let me get off here, y'all. I'm stuck reading y'all comments. I will read y'all comments tomorrow. I ain't got sleepy. It's 19 degrees in San Antonio. And I'm talking about running to some warm weather. It ain't no damn warm weather. Texas people going crazy. It's 30 degrees here. Walmart is empty. When I was in Birmingham, man, they had a brisk of snow. Chuck E. Cheese, McDonald's, everything closed. My doctor's office paid for his nurses to stay across the street so they didn't have to drive home. I said, are y'all serious? I'm from a place where it get below zero. We get three, four, five feet of snow, and y'all shutting down stuff. They couldn't survive up north. When you add a tag to your to your shorts, pound, FYP, pound, BTS, pound for you. What that mean? You need to email me, Trap, um, Nina12129 at Gmail. Because it's like you know a little bit about this YouTube thing. I told you I don't really know what I'm doing yet. I want to know what all that means. Do that help you, like, push the video out more? So that's part of my title. I need to know if y'all whoever know about YouTube, let me know. One guy said he took a picture, but they made him delete it. Yeah. And you talking about the aliens. I'm telling you. My sister live in Mac Allen. I don't know. Is that in near Miami? Trina said, just imagine that word in front of the holy God. I don't think God will punish me for saying bitch or female dog because he named it. I mean, and why would I use that, Trina, when I'm talking to God? It's, certain, it's a time and place for everything. Like YouTube. YouTube is not church, y'all. Y'all have to be a chameleon in life. People that go to church need to learn to be a chameleon. I'm not saying forget about God. I'm saying, dang on, when you on YouTube... You might hear anything, and you cannot keep checking people. Well, God this and God, people know what God is. You on YouTube, you're not at church. What people say on YouTube, they're not going to say at church. That's called being a chameleon. It's a time and place for everything. You got to know how to behave in different environments. What I do uh, at the club, I don't go to the clubs, but what I would do at the club, I'm not going to do at church. But people get so holy, and they get to telling people what not to say out their mouth. But if somebody say you shouldn't be smoking cigarettes, you go going to get mad. If somebody say, I can guarantee you this, Miss Trina, I have one question to ask you. Do you eat pork? That's all I want to know. Do you eat pork? And right there in the Bible, God tell you don't eat swine. 
But God don't say nowhere in the Bible that the word bitch is a bad word. But you telling me, don't say bitch, but you eat swine. Do you cut your hair? Do you even speak in church? God said be quiet. Let me stop. Because she won't let the word bitch go. Because I said it in the beginning of my... I normally don't try to cuss. But in the beginning of my video, I, I wanted to use that word. People say people use profanity because they don't have another word. I wanted to use that word. So I got to pray for that. Okay? I wanted to use that word. God is your shadow. OZ Ross. Song, yes, God is real. Romeo, God is everybody, black shadows. What did that mean? God is everybody, black shadows. I want to know what that means. That don't sound good. If you're living like there's no God, you better be right. <laughs> Actually, y'all, uh, why do we really care if somebody else don't believe in what come out somebody else's mouth and how somebody else live? Why do we really care? We spend too much energy and time on worried about what that person doing. Because like I said, you came here by yourself, you go leave by yourself. Why do you care and focus on and try to tell somebody else what to do? God never told us that's our job. He never told us that's our job. He said, you know, you're supposed to tell people about him and lead them to the scripture. But it's not our job to constantly tell somebody how to live. That's God's job. That's his child. He might want a fornicator in heaven. We don't know. It's not up to us to make that call. But see, people that go to church, they so busy telling everybody else how to behave. Just worry about yourself. All you can do is throw a scripture at somebody and say, I'll pray for you and keep it moving. That energy you're giving over there is unnecessary energy. Put that energy in your, to your grandbabies. Put that energy in making some sweet potato pies. Something more productive than arguing with somebody about what they're saying out of their mouth. You going to hell. Why do you care if I go to hell? That's what I'm saying. People need to worry about self. And this world will be a better place. Because most people that's telling you what to do and say, they ain't right they self. I saw G. I saw God and Jesus in a person. You saw God and Jesus in a person, really? I don't know about that one. That's why this world has to be destroyed, and a new heaven and a new earth have to be brought in. I agree. I will agree. I survived Hollywood. Thank God. Oh, tell us about it, Miss Beverly. You was in Hollywood? What did you do? Tell us all about that. We want to know. That's why I got to have my um my membership started. We want to know inside scoops. We want the inside scoop, don't we, Charmaine? Exactly, because most of these stars on the brink of bankrupt on the brink of bankruptcy, living above their means. Yeah. Cuz who need four houses? Come on, man. TB, my grandfather always said the more money people have, the more they want. Because the more, the more money they have, the more they buy. And then they need more money to maintain. Like Taraji need more money. She's crying because she has four mortgages. She has eight cars. Okay, you only can get in one at a time. Why you need eight? Floyd Mayweather got like 30 cars. And there's young women out here. I know it ain't his responsibility. But there's young women out here in the freezing cold as of tomorrow morning. It's going to be like five degrees on the bus stop trying to go to work so they can feed their kids. They don't have one car. It's, it's sad, man. Time for poor people who marry poor folks again.
acting like Jesus cousins. <laughs> yeah, people act like they Jesus cousins. They're his personal family member. They tell you something about Jesus, like they just really sit there and he tell them, "Man, go check such and such." God and Jesus ain't told you no such as a thing. He ain't told you nothing. He ain't tell you to check nobody because he don't need no help. He said, I'm God all by myself. He said it. He don't need your help. That's just, But people always want to help out and step out their element. Rachel, the kingdom come and they will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That tells us this is not good. This is not God's world. God is going to destroy this one. Poor people playing movies. Poor people got a cell phone for a boyfriend and girlfriend now. I don't know what Romeo is talking about. That's kind of strange, Romeo. Sandra, I wonder what Miss Evelyn... Wait, um, I wonder what Miss Evelyn... Try to talk to Tamar. You should, oh, that's Tamar's mom. That's right. Because she should be ashamed. For example, for younger generation, the woman, I wish she would. You know what? She don't listen to her mama. How many of these young folks listen to their mama? And Tamar ain't even young. Tamar like 48 years old. If she ain't changed yet nine times out of ten, Tamar ain't going to change. But I can't say that because I changed at 52. I'm 54. I really changed my wicked ways. I don't get angry like that no more. I might get angry for just a second and I catch myself. I learned to respect men more. And that's why I take up for a lot of brothers because I know a black woman's mouth. You know what I'm saying? We, women don't want to own that. But I have a lot of women now trying to change the way they, they was thinking. Because they can see what I'm saying. Chill. Let a man be a man. And if that man not a man, what you doing with a boy? That's the question. Why you with a little boy? Don't be mad because he, he a little boy. That's what you chose. But you want that grown little boy to do what you say, but he don't even know how to maintain for his own life. What do you expect? Go get you a real man and shut up. So Tamar, she just wants somebody to fill that void in her bed, and she don't care what she got to do to do it. Her mama can't tell her none at that age. Miss Evelyn can't do nothing but pray for her. That's all she can do. There will be a hiding place for nobody. You can't hide from Jesus. Yahweh, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nietzsche. People supposed to set a man up with a woman, but I stopped. Wait, 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 wait. What Romeo say? People supposed to set man up with a woman, but I got stopped out of the blue. I don't know what's I don't know what Romeo's talking about. Everybody got a black shadow. God is in your black shadow. Okay. You have to get baptized. Yeah, when you're ready. Everybody, you don't need to go get up there just because somebody tell you to. Come as you are, but don't remain the same. All right, y'all. Let me go. I'm getting sleepy. My eyes getting heavy. I didn't chill with y'all for a few hours now. I thank you all for the love. God bless you. Have a good evening. It's late. Stay warm. When you leave your house, make sure you got your heater up so it come back to a nice warm house and your pipes don't bust. Don't cut your heat off while you go. Because your pipes go bust. But I hope everybody stay warm and let's pray over our nation. There's a lot of wicked things going on right now and we can't explain. So everybody, please stay prayed up. This your girl, Nina. Have a good night, y'all. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye.